you on this Wednesday night. So tonight we're going to be playing with the beam beads. I got some here and I'm going to turn you down and show it to you um, how they look like. They are one of the checkmates um, beads. They have got three holes on them and they're like the bars as well. The bars have two holes on them and these, these ones have three so we can do loads of different things with it. And um, I have got a couple of ideas in my head but I'm wondering what um, you can sort of come up with me um, what we can do. Um, it's beads like this, like don't... Like we often go to super duos and gem duos and use them in loads of different patterns but beads like this beams I think are quite exciting because I do feel sometimes they're a little bit underused, like bugle beads in the seed bead world. Like we don't really do a lot of things with bugle beads and they're such lovely beads to use. So um, I'm so glad that um, um, we get to play with these ones. Right, okay, so let me, good evening, Michelle. Let me turn you down and so I can show you these beautiful beads. I'm just gonna grab some out. I didn't grab the purple out because I like purple. I just did that, that was on the top. So, and grab a needle. So we've got three holes on them um, and we can bind them in sort of all sorts of different places. We can create frames, we can create um, sort of V shapes, we can create um, sort of adding them around into like a pendant, a circle one. What I, what the idea, what I kind of have is to have them in a bracelet or a necklace going along, but have them on an angle. So we'll stitch two through them just like that. And then the next one would go just here. So we need to work out how we can go backwards and forwards through the holes so they're gonna sit just like that. And we will have some other beads on the outside. Um, I think I'm just gonna try it with some seed beads and then we will see that how, how we kind of like get on with them and what other more interesting crystals or pearls we can use with them. So let me know if you have worked with these beads before and what you have done. If you got a picture, send us a picture and I can show it to everybody as well. Otherwise, let me know what you've been up to this week. I'd love to know what you've been beading, what you've been making. And um, yeah, so let's get started. So I'm going to grab some seed beads. I'm going to grab some size 11 seed beads to start with. And then I am going to start making this bracelet. So um, the color, if I got the purple out, we might, might, might as well just play with the purple. So the color, I'm going to, let's use this nice grape color. I think this will go nice with it um so grabbing some thread to go as well uh, maybe sort of a medium color thread okay so i'm gonna thread my needle i might as well use this beautiful purple beads so When we work a pattern out, and you've seen, like this morning I did the live on Totally Beads with um, with the Nib Bit Beads. And um, um, that came from the idea from one of, one of these sessions. But I have to really work it out and I had to really rework it. I have to really rework it that um, how I'm going to pick up the beads, what I'm going to do, how like, you know, the pattern became completely different afterwards. So when I've designed something first, I always try to go for the look. And once we have the look, then I try to um, go for, I'm just going to move this cover a bit. It just feels like I'm so much in the corner that i um, um, try to go and work out the thread path. So I'm going to go through those three beads just like that. I'm going to pick up a couple of seed beads and then see we're going to turn back on ourselves. So let's just move these out of the way. So I'm going to pick up a couple of seed beads. I'm going to pick up another beam bead and I'm going to come through this middle hole and the very bottom hole on the one before that. And let me just wrap this around my finger. There we go. Then I'm going to pick up another two seed beads. One, two. And I'm going to go up 
through the end and the middle so i'm just gonna try and snaking it trying to see how are we gonna stitch this together so it's gonna sit the way you want to sit i'm gonna, I'm gonna pick up one by the end hole and then pick up two seed beads so just kind of trying to visualize another one by the end hole coming back down the how is it all gonna sit together and obviously we'd have to go backwards on ourselves as well to so complete the seed beads on the other side because at the moment it's gonna be a tiny bit lopsided but something like this with a pattern like this so I would have to snake back and add the two seed beads in there and there as well I'm just gonna add a few more bits we could cheat because like for example if you use size 11 at the top but you use size 8 at the bottom then it would create a lovely curve well in theory <laughs> it would theory would create a lovely curve so beam two seeds taking them down Lucy just popped the link in good evening Ruth good evening Edward nice to see you here coming I need one beam coming back down and then picking up two seed beads so I'm only picking up the beams on one side the other side I'm just adding the seed beads at the moment so beam by the end hole two seed beads I'm gonna take these down then I need another beam and coming right through all of them just like that so what do we think so far I think definitely need jazzing up definitely need sort of better beads on the side but I kind of like how it sits and to be honest there is no reason why we couldn't have another row coming like that in a chevron pattern um, as well like sharing the seed beads on the side but let, let's just do one row first <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking go ahead already <laughs> I'm thinking ahead already so two seed beads going back up I'm just gonna add a few more and then I'm gonna turn around and once we turn around I think it's gonna be much more solid so beam two seed beads taking it down and then picking up another beam and coming through so what do we think so far do let me know in the chat what do we think of this little pattern so far how is it shaping one two going back up i'm gonna add one more maybe two more and then we turn around so i am not quite sure how many beads how many bean beads in a bag in a 10 gram bag but you would need a bit if like if you had used it in this way especially if you used it on a necklace i think you might need a couple of bags there we go right i'm going to turn back around because i only just want to do like a little swatch so i'm going to pick up these two seed beads and i'm not going to be worried so much about i'm going to pick up a beam i'm going to pick up take this beam down because that beam will sit there and I'm going to pick up two seed beads, one, two, and instead of, I'm going to turn back on myself. So if I'm turning back on myself, I need to go through just where that seed bead is. I need to go through those three all the way down, wiggle it down, wiggle, wiggle. And then I'm going to pick up another two seed beads. And I'm going to go up where these two seed beads are all the way sort of in an angle how the holes are on the beads themselves and pull it tight now I'm going to pick up another two seed beads and come down and pick up another two and go up so I'm just going up and down up and down one two and it's kind of like the pattern is equalizing itself out because now they are sort of sewn together through all holes i think that's kind of I, I like the look of that but we need some more fancier beads 
um, on the side 100%. So good evening, Amelia. Nice to see you. So what, oops, what do we think so far um, of our little pattern? Um, I think we need more kind of beads on the side or maybe different kind of beads. Good evening, Mary. Nice to see you. So I'm going to pick up two seed beads. I'm going to go up through all three of them. It's to be honest, like it's a little bit like it's not as fluid as I liked it to be. So I don't know. Maybe perhaps if you added a seed bead in between the bean beads, then that would like space them out a little bit. Still keep them on the angle, but then it would make the bracelet a bit more fluid because at the moment it's more of a so it doesn't move like it does move, but it doesn't move like in, in my hand, like I just feel that it doesn't move. As, I, as much as I like it to move, move, I think, because I guess the beams are, makes it rigid a little bit. Well, let's have a look. I'm right down to the end. It kind of like curls on itself. I, 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 I do think it's pretty. Let me just zoom in a little bit more. I do think it's pretty, but I also think we need something else on it. So what do we think? Let me know in the chat. What shall we add? Take away, subtract, <laughs> sum up. What shall we do? Right, this I don't want to go through the seed beads. I just want to go through that beam bead at the top. There we go. And then I've just got a couple more. One, two, and going right down there we go so our first little at attempt on sort of an angle i really quite like this i think it would look quite pretty as a bracelet and um, as i said if you had larger size beads on one side then it would totally open up even more but if he i'm gonna try it next adding a seed bead in between the bean beads good evening diana nice to see you here good evening joe can you add miracle beads? Absolutely, one hundred percent. We're gonna we're gonna add miracle beads in there somehow. Um, maybe we could add miracle beads in between the seed beads there because one of the seed beads are kind of like sticking out a little bit more than the other. So you could add, or even little crystals. We could add. So if I just pop this down, so even if we kept this pattern, we could add a crystal in here, or or a mead, miracle bead, or, or or a pearl, or anything like that. I think that would look really good. Right, I'm just gonna knot this together. And then I'm going to start one where we have seed beads in between so we can see what's the difference in that pattern. Or we could use micro crystals in the seed, instead of the seed beads as well. That could be an option. There we go. So, taking a few more beams. So if I wanted to add a seed bead in between, I am again going to start with one by the end hole, picking up a seed bead, one by the middle hole, picking up a seed bead, one by the end hole again. And I guess, let me just pop this down. Oops, I just lost the bean. I'm just gonna pop it down on my mat because the next one is gonna have to, there will be a seed bead in here. Just get another needle. So the next row will be here and then there will be a seed bead on the top. I'm just sort of trying to gauge how many seed beads I'm, I'm going to be needing. Let me just push this up into the middle. So there will be a seed bead there and the next one is going to come there. I'll just pop that one there. So often I put things down on mat. So I'm going to have to get from this hole all the way to this hole. So I reckon two seed beads is not going to do it. I'm going to have to add three there. So taking this back out, this extra needle we added, I'm going to take these down, but my thread is not knotted. So they just went, <laughs> I cut the bobbin off. <laughs> so they just went off on the other end. There we go. I'm just going to leave it, leave it here. There we go. 
So then we will need one, two, three seed beads. And we're going to need, let's have a look. So that's, that's, the, that's the top. So we're going to need three seed beads. We're going to need a beam. And then we're going to need a seed bead. And we're going to come through this middle hole here, I think. Let's have a look. Now I'm going to pick up a seed bead, come through this guy here. Uh, are we doing right? And now I'm going to pick up three seed beads, one, two, three, and I'm going to go up through that one. Pull this up, tighten it back up. Now I'm going to pick up a single seed bead and I'm going to go through the middle hole there. Should have knotted the first part, so let's have a look. If I hold it, let's wrap that around my finger. So we're going towards the top. Now I'm going to have to pick up one bead, one beam just like that and then we're going to pick up three seed beads one two three we're going to pick up beam and a single seed bead and we're going to come back on this beam we just added then i'm going to go ahead i'm going to go ahead i'm going to pick up a seed bead and i'm going to come through where do I need to come through? Let's just pop this down. Yep, I need to come through this one right at the bottom. So sometimes you need to put your work right down in front of you to be able to see that it's not twisted. It's looking good. And I'm picking up three seed beads. One, two, three. Going up through this hole. I like this better visually as well um, with the seed beads in between. Wherever that the in-between beads we want to change from a seed bead to a micro crystal perhaps to give it a bit more sparkle that possibly could look really good and I'm going to go through the middle hole it's still should have knotted when we first started so I have got more of a solid base because it's keep sliding at the moment but we're going to add a few more and then we will see so single bead beam by the end hole taking this down then I'm going to pick up three seed beads. I'm going to pick up a beam and another seed. And I'm going to come back down and I'm going to pick up another seed. And pull that tight. I think that's shaping up quite well. What do we think? One, two, three seed beads going back up in the next one. I do definitely think if you had micro crystals into the seed beads there, that would really sparkle up. And then a single seed bead going through this guy here. And then we are back to the top as well. Good evening, David. Nice to see you here. And Joe's saying, yeah, that's for the miracle beads, 100%. It's a single seed bead. Going through a beam. Three seed beads. Another beam. Single seed bead. And coming back to the middle of the one I just added. There we go. Now, single seed bead going to the bottom. I'm going to pick up three. One, two, three. And I'm going to turn back into the next one. Then a single seed bead and crossing over to the top. I'm going to turn around. 
sometimes so shall we add one more unit no, i think we will be good i'm going to turn around and see how is it going to look when i fill in i think i got twisted here come back there we go nice and straight so i'm going to turn around and see how's it going to look like i'll maybe add one more unit so we've got like kind of like five units um there sometimes you just need to do a little bit more when you're doing something lucy's saying micro crystals definitely my favorites i love them too i think they're so great to work with There we go, coming it nice and tight. And a single seed bead going through this bottom one. Definitely need to anchor the beginning of it so that we haven't got the thread traveling backwards. One, two, picking up three, going back. David is saying he's considering getting microcrystals and adding to his projects. You are not going to regret it. They are so great. Really nice to work with. So I've got a nice size hole. So I kind of like almost the same as size 11 seed beads. I'm just going to wrap the end around my finger here so I can suspend this between my fingers. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to pick up one seed bead. One, oops. And then I just ping it across the room. <laughs> What's going on? All day today, I was like dropping things. Right, there we go. So this would just kind of like sit this way. Is that right? Am I right? Yep. So I do need to. I need to pick up three. One, two, three. And instead of sort of continue that way we're going to turn back on ourselves the same so i'm going down where those three seed beads at the top finish to the three seed beads at the bottom i'm pulling this nice and tight then i'm going to pick up another three one two three and i am going to go back up again in a diagonal sense diagonal way I've got a rock size 8 beads <laughs> within my size 11. I'm just like, what are you doing here? Oh, I, I like when that happens sometimes. I don't know. Is it only me? Do let me know in the chat because this is like, so for example, I got two pots of beads and they're the same color. And then <laughs> one of them is size 8 and the other one is size 11 or one of them is size 15 and the other one is size 11. And I pour some out of my mat and I do my bead work and, and you know, and then you got some leftover beads, which you going to put back in the pot. And if I put the wrong, like if I put the size eight seed beads in the size 11 pot, I have to sit there and unpick it. Like, <laughs> I know, I know it's me, but, um, I don't know. Am I the only one? Like, it's just frustrates me that, um, to knowing that I have got some size eight and some size eleven pots somewhere on my on my shelf, so I kind of have to sit there and unpick it. And um, every single time when I find like just a single bead in the pot, <laughs> which is not the right size, then I keep looking at the pot. Is there any more in there? Is there any more in there? Oh my God, I'm almost all the way to the end. And then I'm gonna knock this as well, and then we see how we go. Michelle said she prefers the first version. One, two, three. So what can we improve on them for the next one? Do let me know in the chat. What shall we do next? What do you think we should do next? Right, I'm right at the bottom. I am, I'm going to ignore those beads. And then I'm just going to knot the end and the beginning together. So we've got a nice, so it's, the thread doesn't, not going to become loose and i'm going to put them side by side and we will see so this is the one with the beads in between 
and this is the one without the beads. Which one do we like more? The one with beads or the one without beads? I do think they give you very different looks. Like this one is more tight. I like how tight is this one. Perhaps we have to work out the sides a bit more. Maybe add more beads to, to have more of like a pico finish. Um, I do like this one as well. But I think if you did this version, you definitely need something. Maybe micro crystal. Joy saying she prefers the first one too. Um, beads, they have a life of their own. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, David, they, 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 sometimes they fall into places and sometimes, sometimes they don't. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure that which, um, which side would be the best to do. Like this one or this one. Um, with this one, if you go back to this version, I think we could, if we then started another line, to have got like a chevron pattern going and maybe have another row of bees just like that um, sitting on there. I think that would be quite interesting as well. I think that would look good. But how can we jazz up, even just with a one row version, how can we jazz, jazz this one up? Or do we even go even more? And I'm going to take my needle off of this one and thread a new one. Or do we even go to a connection where we kind of ignore the middle? Like not so much ignore because you're going to have to go through it. But do we go for something where they even more spread out? Uh, let me just grab another needle. And they sit like that. So much more of a, a just like a thinner line in the middle i think that would come on i'm gonna get you so to a thinner line in the middle i think that would look good too um with this one we could we could so one two three one two, i'm just counting the seed beads i would need to add on there Let's try this one as well, because this one is more tighter. This one is sort of, I would still go into the middle because I think it would give, and if we do this, I think we could do more of a right angle weave pattern with it. So we haven't got sort of a snaking going up and a snaking going down. I think we could go sort of around in circles. I think that would look really good as well. So let's try that next. And then I need you to tell me what... What do, what shall we do after that? Right, so I need my needle. I'm just going to take the needle out of there. So I am going to bind them, like the ends together, and I'm just going to link seed beads into the middle. So I'm going to pick up two beans by the end hole. Then I'm going to pick up three seed beads. One, two, three. I'm going to take these down. Just get this out of the way and I'm gonna come through I'm gonna come through this one I need to put this way in the in the middle hole there we go then I'm gonna pick up another three seed beads and a few more seed beads one two but then I'm still going to be snaking. One, two, three. Let's just, let just kind of pick up another three. Pick up a beam. And then go through the bottom hole there. Pull this up. And let's see what happens then. So for now. Yeah, because I would go that way and we would need less. I would definitely need less seed beads coming back. Let me just add a three seed beads, come back up, and then we will see how much space. I'm just coming back in the middle hole of the one I just added. Hold on to this tighter. Let's pull this up nice and tight. And then we'll see sort of what would we need. Maybe three seed beads are not quite enough, but it does give you the nice little waves on the top, I think. So I'm going to pick up three more. One, two, three, and a beam. 
and then going down. Good evening, Lorraine. And I'm going to come down on this hole here. Then I'm going to pick up three and go up through the middle. One, two, three. There we go. I definitely think it needs 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 something other than the seed beads on the side. I'm going to do a few more. So we just kind of have like a couple of inch of beading. Um, so I need to pick up three in the beam. One, two, three. And the beam. And then go down the end hole here. And then pick up one, two, three. And come up the middle. Again, three and the beam. One, two, three and a beam. I think if you did it this way, you would be using less beams. But I think definitely if I did something like this way, I might want to consider doing like two rows and have like a chevron pattern with it. Going up. And picking up three more. One, two, three and the beam. And coming through the end there. David said, thanks, you gave me an idea. Oh, David, you need to share. What idea have you got? We all want to know. <laughs> we all want to know the ideas. Right, picking up three more. One, two, three. And a beam. And then one two, three, coming through the middle. I'm just going to add one more and then we'll have a couple of inches. I quite like, and this one again is, is I think could be, obviously we'd have to add more to it, but I think it could be a very nice sort of flat necklace because then if we added more beads at the bottom and kind of like pulled it together at the top, it would naturally curve. So I think it would look really good. Right, adding one more, three seeds, a beam. This one is definitely easier to pick it up and to know like which hole you have to go through because I'm going through in the middle or I'm going through the side hole. And I'm only going through the middle when I'm coming back up when I just picked up the seed beads and when I'm at the top, I'm picking up three seed beads and the beam by the end. And then going into the end. So in a way, this one would be a really nice and easy pattern. Right, I'm going to turn around. Instead of going that way, I'm just going to go into this middle hole here. And let's just see. So what do we need to pick up? What do we need to pick up to fill our gaps? So do we need, or actually, do we need to fill our gaps? Like, we don't have to. We don't have to go back and fill the gaps I do think I do think you need something else than a seed bead and I think what we need to do is to come up through that single seed bead so I'm not just going through the beam in the middle but I'm going to come up through this single seed bead as well there we go and then we will have I reckon a micro crystal might be too small. I reckon maybe a three millimeter pearl, maybe a three millimeter pearl or a three millimeter crystal. And then I'm going to pick it up from there and go straight into these seed beads to the other side. But if I go into the seed bead, it's not the seed bead I need to go into, is it? It's not that seed bead on it because then I'm gonna if I if I follow in in this oh sorry <laughs> I'm just sort of leading over so much of my work that um I can't like uh, uh, you can't see anything just the top of my head um writing a shopping list for total beads I have a creative pad on my desk oh brilliant I'm thinking of miracle beads and sandwich sorry my spelling is dreadful this one oh you you fine uh, miracle beads and 
sandwiched in, in between what? What would you like to do in between the seed beads? Give you that little less. I do, I do, I do like this one, but I think I'm, I'm definitely out of the three. This will be my favorite, or this is my favorite. But I do need to think how I'm gonna go back and where am I, where am I going to be adding the beads? Because if I and I'm, I'm just gonna grab a pearl or crystal or anything, and um, I'll show you what exactly I mean. Actually, I had. Let me just grab what color is that purple? I have some micro crystal here. I'm just gonna grab a micro crystal and I'm gonna have a look because micro crystals are a tiny bit bigger than the seed beads, but not quite as big as like three millimeter. So if I came out of there, came out of that seed beads, and we need to we need to kind of go through these two and then come back in the middle. If you follow this down, then we still need to come back up. Anyway, I'm gonna pick up a micro crystal. I'm going I'm not gonna go where I should go. <laughs> I'm gonna go through these seed beads because I really want to go through those seed beads. Because then that micro crystal is gonna sit at the end and we're gonna have to go through it again. So we're gonna have to go up and down three times. But that's I guess it's not a problem. And then I'm picking up another micro crystal and I'm gonna go into this single bead and middle of the beam and single bead. And then I'm gonna pick up another micro crystal. And again, I'm gonna go through these beads here, all of them. I mean, if you go through quite a few times, Gonna be a nice and solid bracelet. Picking up my let's just have a look. Oh, I think that's gonna look nice. Um, I'm not sure if I like that seed bead there though. <laughs> um, I think we need to move that seed bead somewhere else. But we got us loads of different options, like what we can or want to put in between. There we go. And then just coming out of this, picking up another micro crystal and just pull the end tight. Pull against those. Another micro crystal, going just to seed, beam seed. Another micro crystal. And I'm gonna go through all of this. And then I'm gonna have to turn direction and go back on myself one more time because now we still got gaps where we haven't got the micro crystals on. I'm not sure if the micro crystals are the right size, but definitely. So I need to, it doesn't really matter, I guess. I'm gonna come through here. I need a few more micro crystals. A few more micro crystals. I'm picking up another one. But then again, I might change to size 15 seed beads or size 8 seed beads. Sometimes you have to go up or you have to go down in size to, to make it look really good. Let me just turn this around. And then come through this seed bead as well. Then pick up a micro crystal and ping it across the room. <laughs> Coming through this seed beam seed. Coming up through and the micro crystal, and then throughout all the beads. Just coming to the other side. I quite, I quite like that, but I think it needs, it needs a bit more sort of polishing it needs it, need, it needs something else but I, I this is my favorite this last one so far but definitely need something else i think maybe the micro crystals are not big enough not sure maybe we need something bigger let me just i think might need something three mil 
on there but I think it's already giving us a really nice pattern there and don't forget going snaking up on this was the easiest wasn't it out of all three of them because we didn't have to go through sort of all sorts of different beams we just had kind of like two steps to it going along coming through and then coming through the last bit looking a lot nicer with the crystals this is saying yeah absolutely but i do still think it needs tweaking the size is a little bit off for me like at least i do think that the sizing of the crystals are a little either need bigger crystals or bigger seed beads so there is less of a gap in between but the sizing is off but definitely like it kind of looks like if he if he oh i do have another idea <laughs> like if we used one color of seed beads or crystals coming from here going all the way through there then using another color from here going all the way through there like little s sort of shapes and then having the beams in between i think that would look really good um they'll be seeing evening better late than never and um, michelle saying yes i agree lucy the crystal lifts it's yeah absolutely but i do think it needs it definitely needs something else it definitely needs something else than just those crystals 100 percent um so let's just compare so first second and third version of sort of having the beams on the angle i'm definitely going to be playing more with it i still kind of like the tightness of the first one um i do like the second one and let, let me not don't put it on an angle let's let's put it in actually let's turn them all the same way so they all kind of like sitting the same way um, I do like the first one. I do like the second one. I do like it. it's a bit airy, but I think if you ha have to add something else in between, rather than seed beads to kind of lift it, that it looks good. Again, with this one as well, we could have eight color seed beads in this row, and then another color of seed beads in this row, and another color of seed beads in this row. So kind of could have maybe sort of an ombre effect going on or, or, or any sort of effect with with the beams kind of like slicing it up that that might look really good as well so there's loads to play with there's loads to try this is saying love how the ideas pop into your head <laughs> yeah most of the time it's just loads of rubbish but preserve it preserve it you did and then um, and sometimes it does it does does turn out um Sometimes it's okay. Right, so shall we try to create, I'm just looking at Roxy, um, a little frame here with the beams. Um, I'm going to just cut this off. And then I'm going to go ahead and I want to try to create a little frame. So if we had something, I'm going to pop this to the side. And if we had something in between... Again, I don't know how many holes we're going to be using for this one. But if we had something, obviously they would be sitting on the side. But the two things, they don't, they don't want to sit on the side. So if you had maybe a crystal in the corners to hold, hold the corners, we would have like a nice little unit of, um, of the beams. Like kind of representing four sides, and, and I wouldn't want to like I would I would I think it would look really nice like a lacy effect. So let me just grab some bicones because I think bicones might sit quite nicely with that one. While I've got in my head, um, do I need four mil or will I need three mil? Um, let me just grab the three mils as well. Um, 
some of my drawers got like proper stickers on it and some of them I haven't got like fuller, fully stickered up. It's like, where it is? Um, right, let's try four mil quickly. And then I think we might have to go down to three mil. So just want something purpley um, to go with those. Yeah, of course, I'm going to use these ones. So, um, let's use like a dark purple. I'm just going to pick those. Might not be the best color, but. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to pick up a bicone. And then I'm going to go out. So I was thinking about this earlier. This might not even sit right, but I just kind of like want it to sit like that. I'm going to pick up, let's say, three seed beads. Let's wrap the end around my finger there. I'm going to pick up three seed beads. One, two, three. And I'm going to jump all the way to the other end. And I'm going to go in. I'm going to pick up a bicone. Pick up another bean, pick up another three seed beads, jump to the other side. It might not sit how I want it to sit, which I'm kind of su suspecting that I'm just picking this up. It's not going to sit how I want it to sit, but let just, at the end, not the middle, let just get to all of them and then we'll see how they're going to behave. Because sometimes you just need to keep going. We might need to add some more beads to pull it together. So crystal, the beam, three seeds. Again, coming through here. And now I'm going to pick up a crystal and go through the very first beam. And then let's see if this pulls in. <laughs> Look, we got we got a shape, but it's it's not the shape I wanted. <laughs> we have got definitely got like a three D shape, and not not what I wanted because I wanted this to sit kind of like on the sides. So what can we do with this? I'm gonna pick up the three seed beads. One, two, three. And I'm gonna go back up here. There we go. I wanted. Oh, have I what? What happened here? I went back up to the wrong hole. I need to go where my tail is. And now my seed beads are oh, sewn through the thread. There we go. Yep, that's all this. So I'm gonna come from my tail. Um. I do think if I want this to go down flat, actually that's quite nice as well because we could like build units on units, but then on the bottom I would I would want something different on the top to pull it together. So that's 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 another idea. So I got an idea out of this idea as well, <laughs> but this is not what I was trying to do. So what I wanted to do, I want this to sit just like that so I want it oh don't pull up I want it to sit just like that so how we can achieve a shape where we got them sitting just like that maybe the crystal beads are too big and we just need a seed bead or maybe we need something else in the middle to keep us straight first while we're adding the sides so if I pull these closer in, and just push those in, pull this closer in, and maybe if we add two seed beads. Okay, so I think I got it. I'm going to pick up, I'm just going to leave this here at the end, so we've got something to compare. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pick up a crystal, two seed beads, a crystal, my, two seed beads might not be enough, but I'm going to pick them up anyway, might be like size eight would work better, not sure, two crystal, another two seed beads, another crystal, and finally another two seed beads, so I got four sets of crystal and two seed beads, I'm going to take this down, 
I'm going to come through, I'm going to come through all of them one more time. And I'm so out of shot, I'm sorry. Cherry saying maybe a super draw, yeah, you could try, we could try a super draw in there. I'm going to go all the way around, so I've got like a bit of a foundation here. That is in cold nights with my window open bliss. Oh, I love like one of the things I got myself last year. Um, it was like October, November time when it was the weather was turning. I got myself a heated under blanket for the bed and I can go up. I can I can I love having the window open at night so I can go up. I can have the window open and um but like while i'm getting ready for bed i would put the electric uh, blanket on and i usually put in a timer so it's only on for an hour and then when i get into the bed the bed is nice and warm and but it's kind of like chill in the room because the window is open i, I really do love it right i'm going to pick up a bean i'm just coming at the end of a two seed beads i'm going to pick up a beam and i'm going to pick up another three seed beads one two three i'm going to take this down and now i'm going to come through the other end of the beam this is proportion proportionally not going to be great but let's have a look and then go to the crystal pick up another beam by the end hole pick up three seeds one two three Take this down, come through the other end and the crystal as well. Then pick up another beam. One, two, three. Taking it down going through the other end and the crystal there we go and finally another beam again it doesn't look like how I want it to look like quite yet it's not the right form because I think the beams has to be closer to each other so the crystal is too big most most probably but I have got them sitting the way I wanted them to sit so kind of like one step closer and I'm just going to come through this beam at the end here. One step closer or where I want it to be. I really like that little unit but I want the beams to be closer to each other. So wherever we have got a, um, or we just use seed beads in the middle, instead of the crystal we use a seed bead. And then add something else in the middle of the seed beads, like a round pearl or a round crystal. And then have this a sort of side of the boxes. And then I would go and I would probably sew another beam on the end here. So I'm just going to pick up a beam. I'm going to pick up two seed beads. I'm going to take this down. I'm going to come back through the other end to these three so I got the start of my next little box going back into the beam and the two seed beads and now like I'm gonna pick up the crystal because that's what the size in the the beginning one so crystal another two seed beads crystal another two seed beads another crystal so one two three crystals Am I right? No, we need four crystals. Another two seed beads. So four crystals and three sets of seed beads. And then come through there. And then just weave my thread around the next side. So through the crystal. Picking up the next beam. Three seed beads. One. So I think that would look quite nice as a little... Even if it is as an open bracelet, or we could add like a um, maybe like a cabochon we've been working with in the middle that would might help out with the holes as well. 
So that would be worth considering to have a little play with that. But I think going down, coming through, and then the last one, one, two, three. That we say we used to do that kitty when we first got married, heated blanket. <laughs> um, David said, I use a microwave flat wheel and the blanket keeps my bed warm all night, but I do like the window on the crack, but I have, um, I have very large room, so it's freezing. Yeah, sometimes like you can get too cold at night as well, but, but I do have like a blanket over the bed as well, so... <laughs> I like to be warm, but at the same time, I love having a cold room, but I, I need to be warm, um, sort of under the duvet. The only problem with that is, <laughs> the only one problem with that is that when it gets to the morning and you're like, oh, it's time to get up, the room is still cold <laughs> and you just don't want to get out of bed. Like for me, definitely, for sure, that's 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 what's happening. Right. I'm just leave my thread at the end there. So what do we think of this? I do think this is definitely something to have a little play with. I want the sort of the walls to close on each other. Um, so this needs something different in between, 100%. But um, I'm not sure what yet. Might just do a seed bead. And then at the end, have I got a pearl or anything here? I got like an oval pearl there, so we I would I would have a round pearl, not an oval one, but I could put a pearl in the middle. I think that would look really good as well. So there is definitely something in there. Um, I did have another idea, um, kind of like putting it in a circle and then have seed beads in between and and kind of like making like a sun design. But I think it might be too big to do it with the beam. That we sing love that I love this. I like this one as well. I think it would look really good but definitely need a bit more, um, a bit more, oh, I just had another idea. Hmm. <laughs> need, a, need a bit more, um, need a bit more play with it. But this is the thing, you start playing with one, um, like little windows, yeah, and we were talking about windows. <laughs> um, you just start on one thing and your mind just wonder. And I and I, I honestly say I could sit here for the next five hours and just keep on going and going and going. But I do need to take little one out. She's she's kinda of half asleep, but her 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 eyes like sort of half open. I have even for a little walk before the live, but um I need to I need to take her out and um for a little bathroom break so I, I have got an idea for this as well because I think something like this would be good as well but it will have to have to have a different because this is the thing you be pulled it together and they they kind of just like naturally went that way and then like if I keep on going that way I could have um sort of a zigzag opening and I could have larger beads at the bottom and maybe smaller beads and it would make a really nice bangle um <laughs> so there again there's there's another idea there's so many different things we could do so I'm going to bring in these ones as well to zoom out a tiny bit so just to recap what we've been doing tonight and oh and I grabbed the bracelet where would I put that one I grabbed the bracelet what I made up uh, one sec last week after the live with the cabochons because that turned out quite well as well I'm definitely gonna turn it into a kit um, where did I put it? so the flat spiral we were doing with the cabochons last week and I should have bought this in and show you at the beginning the flat spire we were doing last week I had another this is purple as well I'm all purple tonight um so I just want to show you this one quick so I have had a little play with it and I changed it up she changed it up so I have and, and Brenda was here on Thursday actually and 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 she 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 played with me with it as well so definitely 
changed up. The bicones weren't doing much on the side, definitely needed more of a round shape. So we changed it up and I'm, I'm definitely going to turn this one into a kit because it's just so, so nice. And it sits so nice as well on your, on your wrist. So I, I have already maybe <laughs> put some colors together that, um, that we can have as a kit. So, um, we see, and then putting smaller crystals in the middle as well, but definitely will be worth to look, look at for this one. Um, again, this is this is like this is the thing. Like from even from tonight, I probably got about four different ideas to play with and do and make kits and turn it into um, like different bracelets, necklaces, all sorts of things. I do tend to, I do feel I tend to do more bracelets than I do necklaces, but um, that. Uh, um, yeah, no, I suppose I do like bracelets more. Right, everybody, thank you so much for t tuning in and joining tonight. I'll be back on totally next Wednesday and then uh, back here next Wednesday night. So next Wednesday, I think we are working with tile beads, I think. <laughs> I don't know, like Le Leanne sort of, uh, Leanne asked me and we agree on uh, we agree on everything. And then like 10 minutes later, I was like, what am I doing? <laughs> I, like a, I got like a brain of an elephant and forget everything. So I think it's tile beads next Wednesday. And then we're gonna, then we're gonna revisit the bar beads, not revisit, but we're gonna do the bar beads, which is like, which is like this beam beads, but only with two holes to play with those ones as well and I got a few ideas for that one as well so everybody have a beautiful evening have a beautiful night and I'll be back next week keep on beading keep on crafting and I'll see you very very soon